Okay, so just revealed this morning is a new Lego set 43232 Peter Pan. It's part of the Disney 100 line. It supposedly has 266 pieces and it's going to retail for 65 euros and it releases the 1st of September. And we haven't even got revealed for the cast yet, which is supposed to come out literally in 10 days, July 1st. Shout out to Probobricks for covering the news. And I think this set's really expensive. I'll get into why I think it's expensive in a bit. As three minute figures, Peter Pan, Tinkerbell, and Wendy, which we'll get all get into right now. Starting off the minifigures, we have Peter Pan. Significant downgrade from the minifigure series, Disney minifigure series. One, he doesn't have his dagger, which is expected he'd have in the scene. He also doesn't have his classic pants, but it's the same one as the Disney train. It's kind of expected. The face, I think, is exactly the same. The hair is exactly the same. It just, I like the one from the series disney series a lot better than the one this and the same one disney train her him and tinkerbell the same one from disney train so it's not really that impressive for tinkerbell she has new wings from the 2017 one that came in the castle and i also like the face better because the other one has like a more smug face and this is more like i don't know it looks more like tinkerbell i also like how they went away from the cloth cape and they used it printed which just looks better and then the lines for her like top looks more crisp and she also used a new wing piece which i appreciate a lot because I think it looks more like her than the other one because the other one they really, they had limited pieces and I believe that one's from video correct me if I'm wrong rest in peace and then we have Wendy this is a standout minifigure of the set nothing impressive she has dual molded arms maybe a new face and maybe a new hair piece not sure never seen him before so they couldn't made it for just her I don't think it looks like Wendy but it's pretty cool nonetheless and then the dress piece is nothing cool either so let's get into the actual set itself from top to bottom, you can see the clock tower, the Disney 100 logoing, and I'm going to break down the design because I'm just going to break it down analytically. So it says it has like 460-ish pieces. There's some unique breakdowns. So if you go with the clock pieces, they're printed and they look like they're glow-in-the-dark too. So there's four of those that's probably expensive, and it's like closed off from the back so it doesn't look like crap like the aerial set. And then we have... Another glow-in-the-dark piece, which is also, I assume, is pretty expensive as well. Um, nothing else for there. It's built up using boxes, and like I think that's hard to manufacture. Well, it's going to cost more than stacking up with bricks, so that's another reason that it costs a lot, too. I think the technique looks really cool, and the design it comes off is really cool. Reminds me of the Disney ride. And then as you go down, you can see their apartment and like, the street. And, oh my god, I just realized this. There's hair pieces. I don't know whose hair piece it is. They're using it to create trees. That is so genius. And then you have a dog to create their dog, Nana. Surprised I remember that. And then you have a river. And I think it just, this is an ingenious set. It looks so nice. And I think it looks like you have the London Bridge on the left side too. And you have all kinds of houses. I think this is a really cool set. And you have the like 18 plus border around it which i think also jacks with the brace too but this set like if you look on it just as a set alone and let's say it costs 40 50 dollars it is an amazing set i would say it's probably perfect it's such a display great display model so now let's go into the back of the box okay the only noteworthy thing i see on the back is you could see how peter pan clips on which you can see in this frame right here and then it has the dimensions 5.5 inches which is almost well, my foot's like 12 so it's almost half of my foot which isn't that big and then it's 8.5 high so it's pretty tall it has good size to it in my opinion and then it shows that it, it lights up on the left which is i could tell because you could just tell from the coloring of the bricks and then as an uh image from the original film i think i would pay 65 i mean i'm still probably gonna get it but if it had all three of the kid the darlings i would definitely get it especially the one with the top hat. I don't know his name off the top of my head, but I've always loved him. It's always so cool. And I like how they have like that from the movie, which is also really cool as well. And yeah, it has punch tabs, which I don't really like punch tabs. But let me go know what you guys think of this. It should be like 65, 70 euros. Who knows? It might drop to like 40 because people complain about the price. Complain about the price, so it drops. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one.